Hello viewers, thank you for watching our tutorials for MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System, episode number uh, episode 2 now. As you can see now here, um, we have, when anytime we open the program MS-DOS, or command prompt as we have said, uh, you realize that uh, it will give you the version of the window that you are using, and those content will give you. When you will see this command, cd in the front slash it means the command for moving to the root directory moving back to the main root directory and like the one which is said there cd2 dot is to move a step backward part, but cd in the front slash is to move to the main root directory straight to the root directory we have drive d this one this default current to change the drive from c to d and this CLS is a command for clearing the screen. Once I click there, you see automatically you will clear now that screen. That's how it works. CLS to clear the screen. Then now we have these other commands there. As you can see, we have this command here DIR stroke P. You will enable to display files and directories uh, page by page. One thing you see, it will display now the date and the, the date here, the time the file was created and to differentiate between the file and the folder, uh, files and folder or directory, you see that DIL, it will represent a directory while the files that doesn't have DIL, those means those are files. As you can see, and you see, you see something else like these bytes, this is the storage unit measurement. So once you see 17, uh, comma 734 bytes those are the storage unit measurement that's one thing you will acknowledge that once you display the files you'll be in position to see that one if i need to display the files in drive d i need to type drive d for current first then i from there display the files in drive d and now you can see the file in drive d those are some of those files we have already created the area uh, for today as you can see those files and you can differentiate between the files and the directories as you can see there we have a different list of them those files uh, then this command exit is to close the program once you are through when you are through the program just type exit exit and you press enter automatically you close the program uh, then let me now go to something else called how you can create directories in MS DOS, which are also known as folders in Microsoft Windows. That is only the difference, but they mean the same. Directory in DOS, while folders in Microsoft Windows, which is very simple. The command here you need to use is MD. This command MD, it stands for making directory space, then you put the name of a directory, that is computer TZ. That computer tz is now represent the name of a directory where well, there is a command. Well, then you press enter. Once you press enter, type cd space, then you put computer tz. That one will enable you to change directory. NB make directory means you make you are making a new a new thing. While well, cd it means you are changing existing thing. That's the difference between cd and MD. Then you will see now it is now computer TZ and now you can create a sub directories. For example, MD software, press enter, MD hardware, press enter. Those are the two main sub directories. Then at the sub directory software, you can change it and you enter to sub directory uh, software and you make system and application as sub directory as sub sub directories in those uh, then you can still change application to change now the sub 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 directory now you can see word uh, is sub 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 directory of the, the other one in excel then to move a step backward cd2 dot move a step backward to software then uh, once you move another step backward then you can now type cd hardware and you put the files in the hardware as you can see there you can type the files cd hardware and now change the directory hardware and put now 
for hardware whereby we have MD mouse, keyboard, and CPU. In case you see this kind of error, it means you have typed CPU without a command. That is why it is telling you that you recognize this internal and external command version of program or batch file because you didn't put the command. Just come rectify, type MD CPU and you see you won't see that error. Continue like that one. The other one is about this. You can see the word copy. The syntax of the command is incorrect. Those are another errors that you just come across when you are uh, running about MS DOS, and that one will flag that comma copy or alone cannot work alone. It is required to have a file which is being copied. That means when you operate with those files, you see those kind of errors. Trying to see whether you can see the word file. Uh, the word copy, but you can see those syntax command errors is correct because copy cannot work around. It means once you go down here, you can see I've rectified the error. As you can see here, copy as space asteri.net computer tz. It means I have copied a list of files with the same extension, uh, with the same extension here, uh, with the same extension.net. As you can see here, copy asteri.net computer tz it means i'm copying or deprecating all files with extension.net to a folder or directory called computer tz and those are the list of files you can see all of them have .net there are four files of them this one copy we have eight question mark dot asterisk space computer tz it means i'm deprecating files with at least at the most eight characters and with an extension to a directory computer tz you can see all those files no none of the files which have more than five uh, more than eight characters all of them have more less or maximum of eight characters but the extension have different one that's how you see and you can see it is a list of them yeah, around uh, a couple of them there in those files you can see there are many of them and in case we had a previous files you see you can overwrite so just type a to overwrite if you are told yes no or all just type a for all and you overwrite all of them they'll be around 18 now that is the command for that we have another command called a trib minus h it means you can remember the first episode we hide one of the file technical dot ict now to hide that file or to bring it back in the list because once you hide it will not be displayed in the list among other files it means to unhide it just type uh, this command by the name attrib space minus h space technical dot ict which is now represent the file that you already hidden uh, then we have this command uh, that is one you need to accomplish with in MS DOS is about the batch file. Batch file it really helps you to display a variety of program, a variety of commands at the same time. It means you create a file, but the extension must be the extension must be BAT as you can see. It doesn't matter the name that you put. For example, this one is NASA.BAT. It doesn't matter the name, but extension must be BAT. That will reflect a batch file. It means it will help to display a variety of different uh, commands at the same time. For example, date, we have time, we have renaming, a hiding file, deprecating files, protecting file, deleting file, making new directory, deprecating a file to that directory, displaying files with the same uh, with at least six characters, an in extension, and to save a file where we say it is control plus Z all f6 and to tell you one file is copied to display that batch file you need to write only the file name without extension or any command you just press enter and you see automatically you tell you now the current date of this computer is now friday 10 uh, 20 2017 the current time you can see enter the new date in case you want to defy with it press enter and you can see now the current time as far as this one now, we have been positioned now to reflect now the current time as you can see, uh, 1526.myoseconds. 
seven six anytime you enter the new time in case you defy that one or press enter you can see now it have been a position now to do a variety of things together now with me now as you can see from here about the time uh, from the time now you can see it have renamed my file hidden one of the file duplicated files protected and you can see access denied uh, you have made a directory and you can see you have copied the files list of them and all my commands which I did earlier there you can see now are done correctly that is how you work with MS DOS Microsoft Disk Operating System I have tried to, uh, to give at least a detailed different programs uh, different commands but there are very many of them those are just a summary of them thank you for watching our tutorial and continue subscribing for more search in kenya fb fan page and you have search in kenya our instagram account that's for us and our twitter handle still search in courages and search in courages so you can get some of our info helpful information and learn more about ict information communication technology learn with us it is fun. Thank you.